I'm going to read from Ecclesiastes 3, verses 1 to 12. And after this, I have to leave because we have a service right now at 4 o'clock. <laughs> and I'm the pastor, so I have to be there, so you will excuse me. For everything, there is an appointed time, even a time for every affair under the heavens. A time for birth and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot what was planted. A time to break down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to throw stones away and a time to bring stones together. A time to seek and a time to give up as lost. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to rip apart a time to sew together, a time to keep quiet, and a time to speak. I have come to know that there is nothing better for them than to rejoice and to do good during one's life. This is the word of God. Amen. 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 And now just before we hear from the color guard, I would like to invite each one of us to just take a moment of silence and in whatever language comes naturally to you, whatever slant, whatever bent, remember and pray for James, his family, and for peace in our community. God of mercy and God of grace, we pray today for all those who mourn, especially for the family of James. We thank you for his life, for everything in him that is good and decent. We pray for our community that this tragic event would not be in vain, that your healing balm would sweep through this neighborhood and through our entire world today. Be with James' family and his friends as they move forward in a world without him. Be with our neighborhood as we move forward without him. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. Bring hope and peace to this community. Knit us together in love. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken. We pray in your name. Honors will now be presented.